Uh, here's what you get with this concealed carry holster. It is set up in appendix carry, and obviously I've got a toy replica 1911 here per Amazon rules. And the holster itself is pretty minimal. You could wear it appendix hook carry, like I've got it right now, or you could wear it around back. Basically the way these guys work, and there are a lot of holsters set up like this one, is that this is where your belt runs, and you wear it on the inside. So you could wear it, like I said, around back. It would sit like this, or on appendix carry, it sits right here. This is a fairly larger uh, replica 1911. I think if you had your subcompact Glock or SIG, it would kind of come in right down around here. And your handle protrusion is going to be a lot less. So it's a holster that's meant to bury the piece. Let me just show you how you set it up. Basically, you just run it in place like this, and then you work it down over your belt. And when it's finally clicked down over the belt, it kind of clicks in place. That way when you pull, it doesn't want to come up. And then covering it up, you know, you do get some printing. I feel like with all concealed carry rigs, you're going to get some printing. But in this case, it's not the holster itself, but more the firearm that's leaving the print. The holster, I mean, you barely notice it. Uh, definitely softer than Kydex or leather or one of those. And then up close on the holster, it's kind of like a foamy, plasticky stuff. Not leather, not plastic, kind of foamy. On the inside, almost like wetsuit material. And then the clips themselves are not just normal belt clips. They actually kind of, if you can see there, they kind of connect with one another. That way the belt can't just slide off. So if you did get stuck and you gave it a good tug, you're not going to pull the holster off. You're going to finally get the firearm out. It doesn't have any kind of thumb strap or anything like that to get in your way. It's just a straight pull.